Yeah, I mean, like, what is this hospital? Uh, this is El Wafa Rehabilitation Hospital. We've been here in this uh, building and the next building since 1996, so we are not new at this location. We are not new uh, for the Israelis. They know this building and they know us. Uh, we know the services that we provide. Uh, many of our patients are elders, mixed of age, from young, 16, sometimes we got one year old, up to uh, 85 and 95 year old. Uh, all of them, they are unconscious, paralyzed, unable to move, uh, helpless. Uh, we cannot leave them alone, they need uh, 24 hours of services. Last week, we were hit by four missiles from the Israeli army. Uh, the missiles hit the f east side of the building, damaged, property damaged. Luckily, with the grace of God, uh, nobody was hurt. Uh, these many people and many in the media told us that these were warning shots, so you better evacuate the building. We decided, staff, uh, and management decided to stay in the hospital. We cannot evacuate it. We cannot evacuate our patients because there is no place for them to go. Uh, so safely for the last four or five days, nothing had happened to the hospital. No hit, no targeted. Yesterday, about 11.05, uh, our staff here received a call identified by, this is the Israeli forces. You need to evacuate the building by Wednesday morning and he hung up. Panics, fear, running left and right, people didn't know what to do, but they controlled themselves and they decided to move the patients from the first floor to the ground floor for their safeties. Five minutes later, they received a recording call saying that you need to evacuate. There is a massive operation uh, uh, will uh, come in your area at early morning Wednesday. Uh, fear confused our patients and our nurses. Uh, so they start quickly moving the patients, but they determined not to leave the building. We are staying. Uh, about 12 o'clock, uh, we received a call from a person, a live person. He said, I am from the IDF for the safety of you, for the safety of the innocents, and we do not want, I'm quoting him, we do not want to hurt an innocent, so we ask you to evacuate the building. And he said it not once, but twice and three times, asking us to leave uh, by eight o'clock in the morning. The doctor in duty, Dr. Hassan, he called me, he said, what to do? I said, this is a hope, we are not leaving, we are staying. These patients uh, that you see behind me, they are helpless, they cannot move, they cannot eat, they cannot do anything, but with the help of us, they need a 24 hours service. If a fire came through these patients, it will burn them inch by inch, without even them feeling the burn in their feet on their hand. So under humanity law, under the conscious law that we have, I cannot leave them by themselves. So we decided to stay. At the same time, I called our human shield, which is eight foreigners from Europe, from North America, from South America. I informed them of the situation, and all of them decided to continue their solidarity and their human shield effort with us. All of them came. I sent an ambulance to their homes, to their hotels at midnight, brought them here. They stayed in the hospital. They start press release the condition of the hospital and luckily eight o'clock this morning passed nothing happened i think the effort of them and the effort of other organizations and tv shows and radio show that they heard us and they heard our call i think the israeli has determined we are not going to hit this hospital